guys, this is A Renee from Journal Jots and Jive. If this is your first time, thank you for stopping by my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, hey y'all, what's going on? What's going on? Yeah, so I know y'all ain't seen me in a minute. Mm -hmm, I get it. All right, so let's talk about what we are going to do today. I have two planner items in front of you. Well, really three because this is a sticker book. But I'm going to show you how I use my plum planner for monthly planning basically creative brain dumping and then i'm going to actually show you an actual brain dump sheet and our happy nietzsche okay so june is coming up at the end of this week saturday yeah we here <laughs> we are already in the sixth month of the year starting saturday so i said let me go ahead and show you all how to use a monthly planner if you have one i know sometimes we buy stuff off of impulse and we don't know what to do with the next so this is actually a plum planner that i received in not received honey i paid for this sure did bought it paid for this plum planner in february so this started february it goes all the way through january the cool thing about plum planner you can customize it what month you wanted to start add all these extra little pages and all that great jazz but i did this more so for a monthly planner and to track my expenses so I'm also going to show you how to do a brain dump in our Happy Nietzsche. Y'all have been seeing me do a couple of videos on the Happy Nietzsche and the half sheet. So I'll also drop a video about half sheets, one of the few that I have. I'll put it up there in the corner. And that's that. I also, let me go on and tell y'all. I put my foot in my mouth, y'all. I really put my foot in my mouth. There was a video some, some time back, and I'm pretty sure some of y'all scrolled and tell me which one it was when I was like, I'm not doing a... Aaron Condren planner. Yeah, I just did a pop of the lips. Ooh, I'm coming out of my element. Hold on, let me not do that, sorry. Yeah, so y'all, I have an Aaron Condren on the way. It's probably gonna be in the mail tomorrow or Wednesday according to tracking. And I literally bought a life planner, y'all. I never thought I would do that, so never say never, keyword. But I got a life planner and I'm excited about it. And y'all, I'm gonna tell y'all why I bought the planner. This is so sad. I bought that planner because it had hexagons. The end. All right. So that's that. So when I get it, y'all will see how I'm using it. That'll be that. So I'm not new to coiled planners, but I will be new to Erin Condren's coiled planners. So that would be pretty interesting. All right. Enough of my rambling. Let's go and look at the month of June. And again, Plum planner. This is a monthly planner. What a monthly planner is, let me show you a month that has absolutely nothing in it. So we're going to flip to October real quick. The monthly planner with Plum Planner gives you like this monthly highlight. You get your monthly view. And then, y'all, it's just paper. It's like 12 sheets of paper, blank paper to do whatever you want to do. I have a budget section in the back and a social media section in the back. I can't show you that because I already started pre planning. In that so let's go ahead and go back to June and I am going to show you what I do in my planner all right so I like stickers okay it's obvious I like stickers you like stickers we like stickers some of you may not like stickers but I also like planning things ahead having like a snapshot of what I want to do throughout the month and with this planner I decided why not make it a little creative okay so this is where I can let my stickers throw up on the pages in the best way to put it, okay? Yeah, stickers everywhere. Stickers all day long. All right, so let's go ahead and flip. So what you get, again, is you get your monthly highlights. Now on this, with plum paper, you would have to write with a permanent marker on this side only. You can't do it on this paper. A lot of people do not like plum paper because you can see a little bit of ghosting and the ink go through. I'm a bullet journal lur that's not even a word but i use a bullet journal so i'm used to seeing a little bit of mild ghosting doesn't bother me all right so you get a goal number one goal number two three birthdays events things to remember and then you get these two little blank spots to use so you put whatever you want right there i already started this right here what i normally do on this section y'all sometimes i will do a brain dump let me show you in the month of may that is the brain dump that I did over here. So that's some of the things that I do, or I'll just jot some quick little notes down on the front section. That is before you get to your monthly planner. Then we flip over here. I already started pre-planning 
months ago, y'all, I would do the cute stuff. Let me go ahead and do this video and plan with y'all. Yeah, I can't do that because I get off task. So I have to just go ahead and start throwing down these stickers wherever they need to go. So I've already started putting where some bills are due. I still have to go in. This whole page is going to be real cluttered with what is due and what needs to come out. So this page specifically is mainly for expenses and things that are going to come out. Remember I mentioned that I have an Erin Condren on the way. That planner will be used for everyday life. So y'all will actually see how I use that monthly view a little bit different than this. So that'll be later once that comes. All right, so we're gonna start flipping. So again, you get about like 12 sheets behind this, y'all. So what I decided to do, it's summer break uh, time to do some little different things around the city. So this is the summer bucket list. This will house things that my son and my family, oh, come on, honey, adjust. And friends will be doing, why, hold on, y'all. I'm sorry, this is, wait a minute. Uh-oh. Oh, y'all got my whole hand and I'm not editing that out. I want y'all to see me just for who I am. All right, so about that. So this will be the summer bucket list and I'll list some things like my son and I, we're gonna use, watch old school movies. So there'll be a list on here. I'll add that stuff in there. So that's what these two pages will add up to. This over here is fitness that I still suck at currently. Um, but you know, I'm gonna keep putting it, keep doing it until I get it right. Keep getting on that bike until I get it right. All right. This over here will be meal ideas, and then the goal will be to try about three to four new meals. So that's where I will write the new meals that I wanna try out on this side. And as you see, there's kind of like a rhythm to it. Everything has like a theme or a goal for the page. So this is summer ideas, things we're gonna do. Uh, like I said, movies that we're gonna watch. We're gonna go pick blueberries, strawberries, uh, new restaurants, we're gonna go on trails. Just different things that we'll do, we'll go over here. This again is fitness. This will be meal ideas. So each page can have its own category and you're literally brain dumping. I'm just choosing to creatively brain dump in this book, okay? So then we flip over here, Be You Bravely. This is my self-care page. I'm just gonna dump some ideas of things that I wanna do. Most of you know I have my Hobo Nietzsche Weeks, which serves as my self-care planner and that's where I force myself to care about myself and do things for me only. It has nothing to do with anybody else but me. This is Ty's World. This page is strictly for my son. As you see, I already wrote in some of the chores he'll be doing. <laughs> this list will be growing. And I have a sticker that said, not all classrooms have four walls. So we'll be doing some educational stuff over the summer as well. He has math tutorial. Um, I'm gonna find some museums and stuff. He likes history. Oddly enough, he literally will go watch documentaries without me asking. It's just something that has been in him since he was yay high. So we'll find some things. And then he also has to read a book per month. So I'm gonna allow him to pick his book. I'll write it and then he'll do a couple of journal writing things for that. What else is he gonna do? Uh, boxing, swimming, and he has to work on some track uh, things, okay? Then we go over here. This is my work section. So this will be for journal jot and job. Any projects that I have coming up, I actually have to customize a happy planner notebook for a um, high school graduate that's going to college. So that's on there, some other things, and then journal jot and job, okay? So that's what I keep over here. And again, this is literally brain dumping some ideas and things that I have that will be coming up. And it'll go on this page. And then this last page, my son has decided that we're gonna have a crab boil slash barbecue slash water fight. Y'all, I don't know what the heck is going on. Nonetheless, he wants a family and friends day. So we'll be doing that this month. So I'm gonna go ahead and plan out things. We have the grocery shopping list. This will be the menu over here. And this will actually kind of give details. We're very extra in my family when it comes to hosting events. So. It'll have a whole theme around it, y'all. I'm just a little extra. So hopefully I'll have some video footage of that for you all leading into July. So y'all won't get that footage until later because this will be at the end of the month. And then this is the last page just for notes or whatever I want to do. So again, I wanted to show you if you have a monthly planner, you're like, I didn't bought this planner. I have no idea what to do with it. You can actually use this and house this as a brain dump idea for different sections in your life and or you can take notes in here so it's whatever you want to do with that all right so let's move this little puppy out the way and let's go ahead and move over into our 
I'm trying to find a page that we're gonna be on so I don't have to do all this flipping. So we're gonna go ahead and go into our happy Nietzsche and we are literally gonna write some of the things that we said we're gonna do in that monthly planner. We're just gonna brain dump. Now when it comes to brain dumping, technically I don't have to add a sticker or anything on here but for the sake of this video, I'm probably gonna add a little bit of a sticker here and there so you can see, and that'll be that. What a brain dump is, and I'll also add another video about brain dump that I did a while back so you can kinda see that as well. It's literally whatever comes up in your mind that you think you need to complete within a week or a day or a month. For this example, we're doing the month of June. You're just gonna write everything down. It's not in chronological order. It's whatever pops in your head. And that just kind of gives you a guide of how to plan. It's basically pre-planning, okay? So once you do that, you can go and fill in your sections in your monthly section or your weekly section. It just makes an easier guideline. And because I keep my half notes pretty much in my work area and it takes up less space, this is why I will be doing this, all right? Some little message just posted on my camera, so I hope this thing is still recording. All right, so y'all know the routine. I am going to go ahead and speed this video up and we will work through this. So that is it for this brain dump. That does not mean that everything is listed on here because as I put the top on the pen, I thought of a couple of other things, but I'm like, I'm not about to take that pen off to do that all over again. So once I cut the camera off, I'll definitely go in and write some other things that need to be done. As you see, I didn't do anything as far as writing super neat. I wasn't gonna do the slow writing, you know, for picture perfect type stuff. It, don't have time for it, okay? Because remember, this stuff will get written again in other places so there's no need unless I wanted to let this be my running list for the month and all I had to do was just check things off and I wasn't going to plan at all then I probably would have put a little more energy into it but outside of that brain dumps are just what they are they do not have to be neat they do not need stickers or anything of that sort it's just to get everything out that you think you need to do for that month so I have things for my son myself family, all of that thing, oh, all of that thing, all of those things are listed on here. And again, there are some extra things that I know that I will do. I also don't put every single thing on here because I have a business that I run and you know, y'all zoom in abilities, um, yeah, they're on point. So that's that. Again, get a brain dump going. If you've never tried it, try it. Let me know how you feel about it. Have you done a brain dump? If you have, put that in the comment section below. If you haven't, are you willing to try it out to see if it's something that will work in your planning style? So I hope this works for you. In another video, I'll explain how you can even do brain dumping in your journal. Yes, it does exist and it does work very well. So that'll be another video for another day. All right, I enjoyed this video. I hope you did too. And until next time.